Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strata Hadoop World in San Jose. I'm here with Doug Cutting and Ryan Peterson. Peterson. Um, Doug, Cloudera, Ryan EMC. You know, in this industry, there are a lot of players um, out there, and, and sooner or later, people have to choose sides on you know, which stack they go with, which components in the stack they choose. How do you two guys work together? Yeah, I think uh, from our perspective, you know, you've seen some recent announcements. We're really excited about what we're doing uh, with, with other uh, organizations in, in the data space. Uh, at the same time, what we're doing with uh, Cloudera is just absolutely incredible. Uh, I think we're very committed to the uh, Apache Foundation. We're really excited about, uh, about taking that, that relationship forward and doing more with it. So uh, I, I can't be happier to be working with uh, Doug and the people at Cloudera as well to, uh, to continue moving that initiative forward. At Cloudera, you know, we're, we're really happy to work with EMC. They are the sort of uh, leading data lake vendor, use, use one of the, the current buzzwords, um, you know, uh, providing uh, companies with a place where they can um, store all their data and have it uh, interoperate with all of their existing workloads as well as, uh, as new workloads that, that arrive on Hadoop. You know, Hadoop is more, we like to call it the enterprise data hub because uh, it's not just about storage, uh, it's about processing. Um, and a wide range of uh, processing at you know economical prices. So you know I don't have to give you the whole pitch, um, uh, but but they're very complementary. Um, uh, if, if folks you know have uh, EMC and they're and they're already using it to integrate um, a variety of, of existing applications, um, now they can they can bring Hadoop to bear on that same data. So you know bring Hadoop to bear on on their data. So the last few years seems like the data world has been testing their approach, their stacks, uh, preparing themselves to actually make data in practice work for them mm -hmm. and actually impact their business. Are you guys seeing that with your customer base right now that they're they're past the testing phase and they're actually into revenue, bus business decisions and making a difference in the world? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, first thing we saw is that customers were using Isilon in this case to get data uh, ingested from whatever source that they particularly had. And then they found that by bringing clutter and attaching it directly to those data sources, they were able to find a unique value of that information. So uh, a good example, we have a customer who's working with telecommunications providers to take the call detail records and the extended detail records and get all that information ingested in and into Isilon. Ultimately, Clutter uh, takes all that content and looks into it. As a result, they've been able to uh, use telecommunications records to find missing children. And for us, the, the kind of things you can now do with it, it, it transcends regular business economies and you're trying to get more money or trying to save money, whatever it might be, uh, you're really changing the world with this technology and, and uh, customers are finally starting to see how they can do that as they start to uh, take it from the, the playing with it world to the actually implementing it and, and, and doing something with that data. I see there's uh, not really a, a, a all of a sudden Hadoop is useful in production yeah, yeah. where it wasn't the day before. The Rather, there's, there's this process, you know, uh, uh, for the last uh, five or six years, uh, Cloudera has had customers who are using Hadoop in production. That number keeps exploding, keeps doubling every year. Um, and, you know, all, every year, uh, most of the people who were first uh, starting with it are just experimenting and doing testing. So that's always probably half the user base. Uh, it's, it's still an experimentation. Um, um, but the other half is, has moved on to, to production uh, in most cases. They're, they're finding it useful. Um, uh, we're seeing patterns uh, come out that, you know, of use again and again uh, in, in certain industries. Um, uh, in finance, um, uh, we're seeing a lot of risk uh, calculation, um, uh, fraud detection in uh, credit cards. Um, uh, these, these, are, these are again and again, uh, every you know, a vendor in, in those spaces um, is implementing uh, similar solutions. And so we're out now able to, ha having seen this happen, you know, three, four, five times, uh, we can start to generalize and say, uh, when, when a new uh, uh, company comes to us, we can say, oh, this is the way you do fraud. This is the way you do risk. Um, uh, you can uh, hear MasterCards here today to, to talk about um, uh, getting uh, PCI compliance. Um, so that is actually a real watershed event um, that now you can, you, we, we've got enough security features built into the platform uh, that you can you can build something that, which um, really requires um, uh, some, some, some very clear um, uh, security. Um, and uh, and it, it, it's exciting um, uh, to, to see it, it come that far. Um, and you know now now it, that that means that all these institutions uh, can now use it in, in regulated industries. So if if Hadoop is going to be an everyday term for every business, and everyone in the organization should understand 
what their data story is and their data platform is and Hadoop. Do you have a elevator pitch that anyone in the organization could understand what Hadoop means to them? Sure. I mean, so there's, there's first I'm going to, a little, little proviso first. Um, there's kind of two senses. Um, there, I mean, Apache Hadoop has a very specific meaning as a trademark of the Apache Software Foundation. There's a more general sense in which everything that's related to that Generic project is Hadoop. called uh, uh, Hadoop. I say Hadoop, everybody else says Hadoop. We don't have to spend a lot of time talking about that. Um, uh, so what it is, in effect, the, the simplest version, um, is a way to take lots of inexpensive computers and hook them together and make them look like one giant computer um, uh, that gives you this very affordable, um, very scalable platform um, that you can do all kinds of things. You can do um, uh, you know, sort of classic database problems, you can do uh, full text search engines, uh, you can do machine learning, grow it's, it's, it's just this general purpose platform um, built on a, a foundation of open source software and commodity hardware, so it's, um, you've, got, you've got scalability and this affordability um, are, are sort of core elements of it. Um, and then you get this flexibility and general, you know, a lot, lot, of, lot of nice uh, properties come out of this, this approach. Um, so it's a new approach to building um, uh, data systems uh, more than anything else. And you at EMC are seeing your organ the enterprises you work with that you actually believe that everyone should know what Hadoop is? Yeah, I mean, from, from marketing to operations, facilities, it, it, it seems like any particular uh, area within an organization is, is interested in taking their data and figuring out uh, how it's relevant to either the rest of the organization or even outside the organization. And uh, we're finding more and more of those, those pieces and places within the organization are starting to reach out and say, hey, how can I find relevance with my data? How can I correlate it with something else from another part of the business? And what, what value and result can I get out of that? So yeah, we, we're absolutely in belief that uh, every line of business needs to understand how it works. Uh, IT especially needs to start understanding this. I think that uh, that's still a, a real big problem. A lot of the line of businesses, uh, maybe one space has got to figure it out, but, uh, but IT still needs to really get involved and understand. And I think that's starting to happen. I feel like this is uh, this is that year where we're, we're seeing IT pick it up. So you know what, we need to we need to run uh, whether it's analytics or whether it's uh, machine learning or some other process that the head can bring, and, uh, and they're they're using it. And they're starting to find value from it, and uh, we think that they need to spend more time understanding that, that value proposition. So yeah. Um, I don't want you guys to look too far forward because the, the industry changes so quickly. But if, if we're sitting down here next year at this time, what do you think the biggest change should be and what do you think it will be? I actually don't think the industry changes that quickly. I think um, uh, companies turn over their technology very slowly. There's still a lot of cobalt out there. Yeah. Um, and uh, companies want to be on, to move to things that they are going to survive. Um, and I think there's some very long-term trends um, uh, that, that you can bank on that, that, that tell you this is the next generation platform. Uh, I mean, yeah. data and computation are becoming essential to every industry. Uh, this, this will be the, the data century. That's, that's the, the, the thing where, where we're finding value in agriculture, in you know, uh, banking, in retail, in mining. Internet of things. Internet of yeah, things, yeah. Yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Um, uh, it, everything is generating data. And if we want to improve, we have to understand. In order to understand, you have to collect data uh, and analyze it. And just it all it all fits together. Um, and the hardware keeps getting cheaper and more plentiful. Um, and so we you know we need some um, way to take advantage of that. Um, and an open source platform that's very general purpose is an obvious uh, uh, solution for that. And the industry has embraced a standard one. And and people aren't gonna all of a sudden switch to something else. They've got this thing in-house. Um, uh, it's, it's doing a lot of what they want, and tomorrow they're going to want to do more of what they want. So I think we're going to actually see um, fairly incremental changes. I mean, there, there are going to be new, hot, sexy systems um, uh, that, are, that are added to the stack. Um, uh, but this fundamental um, movement, I think, is, um, is, is in place and is going to keep going for a long time in, in this direction. I think my, my perspective on it is that uh, application development is going to be the next big uh, phase. You know, the, the platform now exists, the platform is strengthened, it's gotten to the point where it's very consumable, more people understand it. I, I like to liken it to maybe what happened in the Windows era where things started out as a platform and then it wasn't until maybe version 3 or Windows 95 when things started to really pick up and there was a lot of apps being developed and of course then, then it was very useful. Yeah, the, the data sources are, are, are somewhat common, so people are going to create applications that you can consume again and again and again 
spanning over different uh, parts of the organization. So I think maybe a year from now, maybe it's two, uh, we're going to see those applications really start to, to skyrocket and see more, more of that kind of consumption. No, that, that is a great point. We're definitely starting to see that. I mean, I, I was talking about these use cases, things like risk and fraud, and, and yeah. I think in, in, the, in the coming years, somebody's going to take those patterns and, and build a, a reproducible product that they can, they can uh, sell to lots of folks. Software over the top, yeah. just yeah. make it simple. Excellent. Gentlemen, I look forward to seeing you guys next year. We'll be here. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right, thanks.